When we last visited the Final Fantasy series, we investigated one of the biggest myths in all of video games. But this is a series that holds many secrets, and this time, we're reaching even further into the past to what's arguably the best installment, Final Fantasy VI. This one is particularly intriguing for several reasons, a big one being that it would be the last time a game with the Final Fantasy title would grace a Nintendo platform for nearly a decade. It's also widely regarded as the best of the 2D Final Fantasies, if not the best game in the entire series, full stop. Final Fantasy VI earned praise for its innovation, most notably its open-ended nature, which at several junctures resulted in decisions that resonated throughout the entire game. When you combine a widely successful game with a rich world to explore, you usually have a recipe for some juicy rumors. Perhaps the most elaborate of these mysteries involved a creature known as the Czar Dragon. According to in-game clues, there's a hidden boss that awaits players if they fulfill certain conditions throughout the course of the game. Is there a secret dragon lurking somewhere in the world of Final Fantasy VI? There are quite a few videos and fan sites dedicated to the Czar Dragon, and after plenty of research, we turned up the original method posted by a user named Aerostar. According to Aerostar's instructions, you need to collect all 26 pieces of Magicide in the game before beating the eight dragons in the World of Ruin to obtain the Crusader Esper. At first, this seems impossible since you can't possess both Odin and Raiden at the same time. However, Aerostar claimed to have found a way around this. According to Aerostar's method, once you have all the Magicide pieces safe for Raiden, you'll need to fight the Blue Dragon in the ancient castle in the World of Ruin. The catch is that you have to defeat the dragon by petrifying it with the spell Break. If you successfully petrify the Blue Dragon, this will cause the Queen of the Castle to break free of her imprisonment, and she will then turn herself into Raiden. If you already have Odin at this point, it will remain in your possession, giving you all 26 pieces of Magicide. <laughs> the remaining dragons in the World of Ruin, and upon slaying the final one, you'll be drawn into a battle where the following text is displayed. You'll then have to battle against all of the dragons again, culminating in a showdown with the fearsome Tsar Dragon. We made it to the World of Ruin and encountered the Blue Dragon as instructed, but no matter how many times we used the spell Break, or any other spell capable of petrifying the dragon, it wouldn't work. Defeating all eight dragons does indeed give you the Crusader Esper and a brief message that simply says, Dragon Seal Broken, but nothing special happens after this. It appeared like all our efforts were for naught, until we looked a bit further into the matter. The widespread nature of this rumor nearly five years after the release of Final Fantasy VI led to others wanting to see if there was any validity to the claims. Many of them had turned up empty-handed after following the same instructions we did, but a user named R51 poked around the game's wrong with an editor and discovered something quite fascinating. There, indeed, is a line of dialogue that matches what Aerostar claimed to have seen, and there is an unused sprite labeled Tsar Dragon. It appears that the Tsar Dragon was indeed intended to be a secret boss battle in the original release of Final Fantasy VI. Progress was so far along that the monster's text was localized into English on the SNES version of the game. In addition, the same sprite and text are also in the ROM for the 2007 re-release, Final Fantasy VI Advance. That's not all. Final Fantasy VI Advance includes a boss battle with something called the Kaiser Dragon, and the conditions for triggering this battle are eerily similar to the rumored method to fighting the Tsar Dragon. After defeating the eight dragons, you unlock a dungeon called Dragon's Den, where you fight tougher versions of each dragon. Defeating them all will unlock a path into a room where you fight the Kaiser Dragon. Victory nets you the Diabolos Magicite. Even the Kaiser Dragon's pre-battle speech is similar to the Tsar Dragon dialogue. You also have an opportunity to fight all nine of the dragons in order without interruption in the Soul Shrine once you clear the dragon's den. While there is no way to battle the Tsar Dragon in an unaltered version of the original game, fans eventually created a patch for the ROM that allows you to fight the beast as intended. You were always meant to encounter the Tsar Dragon in Final Fantasy VI, as proven by the sprite and dialogue present, and its inclusion in the remake. Square Enix declined to comment for this episode, but our guess is that the developers were forced to cut the battle out of the final product in order to make the target release date.